Good evening, and welcome to the Church by the Seas Meditation. Tonight, I want to focus on a psalm which talks about meditation. Meditation is an idea and a concept that's been with us since ancient times. And how we understand how to meditate may vary from person to person. For some, of us, some of us, it may be a posture. For some of us, it may be a sound. For some of us, it may be a method that we've learned through another. But for all of us, what's clear is that meditation quiets the mind and allows us to connect to our Creator. It allows us to expand our understanding and to grow in our spirit. So the psalm I want to read is Psalm 77, or parts of it. It begins with, I cry aloud to God, aloud to God, that God may hear me. In the day of my trouble, I seek God. In the night, my hand is stretched out without wearying. My soul refuses to be comforted. I think of God and I moan, I meditate, and my spirit faints. Well, it begins with this idea that we seek meditation, of course, because all else has failed and we are weary and worn. And perhaps that is at times why we seek to meditate, because we are weary and worn and troubled. But then it goes on and it says, I commune with my heart in the night. I meditate and search my spirit. So let's consider that. I commune with my heart. What a beautiful, beautiful thought. I meditate and search my spirit. So in the psalm, meditation is also a way for us to reflect not only on God's works and God's deeds as the psalm begins, but on our own, on our own role on our own way of being. And then the psalm moves back to doubt. And it says, will God spurn forever and never again be favorable? Will God's steadfast love cease? Has God forgotten to be gracious? So the psalm, like so many of the psalms, reflect our own emotions, where at times we have faith in God and believe that God is there and with us, and then something happens in our lives or in the world, and we doubt, and we wonder if God cares, and we wonder if God is there, and we wonder if God is powerful, and we doubt. And then we pray and we meditate and we move closer to God again and it changes. I will call to mind the deeds of the Lord. I will remember your wonders of old. And again, the psalmist moves back to a posture of faith. That is our journey as well. And so tonight, let us begin our meditation by considering how can we move closer to God? Well, let us then begin with prayer. Holy One, creator 
of all that is beautiful, that is wondrous. That is beyond our imagination. Be with us tonight. Help us to see our role in our own lives. Our role in our own happiness and well-being. Help us to be quiet and hear your voice gently guiding us. To understand your will and to embrace how you love us and want all good things for our lives. Tonight, guide us, help us to breathe in the beauty of all you are, to breathe in the light of your love, to breathe in possibility. So we might expand in some small way our understanding. In this we pray, amen. So let us begin by simply taking some time to breathe in and breathe out all our fears and worries and concerns and breathe in the light and love and possibility of God. Breathing in union with God and with God's children and breathing out disunion with others and with our own fears. Breathe in and breathe out as we listen to this piece of music.
So following along with our psalm, let us begin by considering what's in our heart. I commune with my heart in the night. I meditate and search my spirit. As you breathe in and out, consider your day. How are your interactions? Were they filled with light and love? Were they filled with compassion and mercy and understanding? Or did you struggle? And with anybody that you struggled with, take them into your heart. Surround them with God's light and spend time praying for them. And perhaps later asking their forgiveness. Or did you struggle with God? Did you struggle with the way God is? Did you lose hope? Did you doubt? Did your fears fill your mind and your spirit? If that is so, or even to some extent so. Ask God to remove them, to take all that interferes with your ability to be of service to God and to be a vessel for God's love and light. Clear the channel. Think of yourself as a tube, like a flashlight. And God is your battery. And if God fills the space inside of you, then light can emanate from you. But if you're empty, no light is reflected. Nothing can come. So fill your very being and envision filling your very being with God. Think of the times that God has been with you. Think of the wonders all around you. Meditate and muse on God's mighty deeds, on all that God has done, on God's greatness. Think of the beauty of who Christ was, of how he so easily forgave. how willing he was, how loved he was because of who he was. And ask to be more like him. And as you meditate on this, it is easier to see your own path. To feel better about your own life. When God is at the core of who you are, fear dissipates. The way forward 
is the way of light, of love. So let us together spend time with this all-powerful, all-knowing, all-loving God.
I want to close by a prayer from St. Patrick. And though it's talking about getting up in the morning versus going to sleep at night, I love what it says. And so I hope you will indulge me. Let us pray. I arise today through the strength of heaven, the light of the sun, the splendor of fire, the speed of lightning, the swiftness of the wind, the depth of the sea, the stability of the earth, the firmness of the rock. I arise today through God's strength to pilot me, God's might to uphold me, God's wisdom to guide me, God's eyes to look before me, God's ears to hear me, God's word to speak for me. God's hand to guard me, God's way to lie before me, and God's shield to protect me. I rise today through the mighty strength of the God of creation. Amen. I hope you have a blessed and beautiful night. And on our website, We wrote some 77 or parts of it that I spoke of. I encourage you to read it and reflect upon it when you have the opportunity. Good night.